This morning on Today Foods, savoring the last of your delicious summer produce. That's right, one of our favorites, Miss Martha Stewart is here. Martha Stewart Living. She's cooked up a savory tart using what's left in the garden. Martha, good morning. Oh, oh Martha. Uh, tomatoes actually have just started really around here and they're so beautiful this year. They're so beautiful. It's also and U.S. Open season. I heard you took a little video of a critter. Oh, you have to see. Do we have it? Can we? Yeah, let's roll it. So there you are in the stands. What do we right, see here? We're in the president's box, and oh. there's a squirrel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At first, we didn't know what it was, but it came back and forth about six times. Wow. And so I got a lot of good pictures of, this, of the Aaron squirrel. That's the Martha effect. She brings nature wherever she goes. It was really fun. Okay, tell us what's in our ingredients. Yeah. Okay, well, this is a delicious tart, and we uh, start with the crust. Okay. okay. Now, the crust okay. for, a, for a tart is it's the same as a pie crust. Uh, same as a quiche crust, mm -hmm. and so it's two and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour, two sticks of unsalted butter. Feel how cold, okay. cold, oh, yeah. hard okay. and cold, because you want a really flaky and uh, buttery crust. Okay. So this goes right into the food processor. You can do this by hand, but it takes about uh, three or four minutes by hand and about 20 seconds right. in the food <laughs> processor. Mm -hmm. uh, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of coarse salt, okay. and you cover this up. And it's it's just so so simple. Let me see. Uh, 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 there. there you go. There, there. And then just process quickly. Okay. And once it's done, you add uh, your water, a quarter to a of, of a cup of ice water to ice a half cup. No ice cubes. Okay. Be careful about the ice cubes. A lot of people pour the ice in there, and th then it makes wet spots in your dough. Okay. So your dough. Um, uh, after you finish that, wrap it up, chill it, roll it out, and look how nicely it rolls mm. right on your rolling pin. Beautiful. And so it's easily lifted. Uh, this is a little hint for people who are afraid of pastry. Just roll it on your rolling pin like that. Wow. Flour it up, up a little first, uh, right? Well, it's, it's, you don't, uh, the you don't less flour to. you use, the better. Okay. Because right. that toughens the crust. Okay. And put this into your tart shell. Now is there a secret to trimming that cusp? Of course there is. Right. It's so easy. You want to double your sides a little bit. Just press in with your thumbs as quickly as you can mm -hmm. so you don't want to get it warm. If it starts to get too soft, put mm -hmm. it back in the freezer or the fridge. Okay. And then just use your rolling pin. You want to try it? Yeah. And just cut it, it off. It comes the right off. Pin. Look at oh that. Oh my gosh. See how simple? It Eve, really is. Eden, like Savannah, and I can do this. Yes, exactly. Yes, you can, both of you. Look, Look at, at you, that. Willie. Comes right off. Yes, and, and then chill that. Put that back in the fridge. And Savannah, maybe you can get the uh, tart shell that's in the fridge. Oh, okay, There's one sure. that's rolled out. There we are. The, um, oh, essential for this tart is roasted garlic. Do you roast garlic yes. a lot? Yes. The big so, one or the little one, Martha? Oh, the big one's okay. fine. And then you um, just salt, pepper, and a little bit of, of olive oil. Uh, make a little, oh, great. Thank you. Make a little bit of a packet mm -hmm. and roast this at 350 degrees okay. uh, for about 45 minutes. So okay. you can do that yesterday. Yeah. You can right. have roasted Go garlic. You can have roasted garlic in your fridge. And here, when it comes out, it's so much fun because each clove can just be squeezed right out. You can squeeze the whole thing. Look how oh, it comes out. Wow. It almost has a sweet a flavor, trick. doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's so beautiful when it's cooked like this. And it's nice, um, just slathered on uh, a piece of French toasty bread. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Now, where and do our veggies come in here, Martha? Okay, well, you, there, there you have. And try try slicing me a tomato, okay? Do a, How do would you like? brown, okay. brown, green tomatoes. Those are, these are like the, the nice uh, heirloom tomatoes that are very much in the marketplace right now and hopefully in your garden. You should be using tomatoes right now because it's the perfect time for them. And it's right. When they're what not good, they're not good. So oh, this is so, the time to do so it. So good. Now, see how I mashed up the garlic? Mm -hmm. This is the base for your tart. Oh. And Almost about a paste. six or eight, yes, it is a paste. Six or eight teaspoons, um, cloves of garlic. Okay. Okay. A couple tablespoons. Yeah. And slather that and then layer your. Layer it in. Well, we have one started there. So you layer zucchini uh, cheese. You can use fontina cheese. You can use. Um, a uh, comb cheese, you can use a Gruyere cheese, a cheddar cheese, uh, pretty much whatever you have. But, the, and oh, don't forget the zucchini. And that goes underneath, yeah. right? Yeah. You could okay. do different vegetables if you don't care um, for these, correct? Well, yeah, you could use, uh, but roast your peppers, roast your eggplants a little bit before okay. you put it in the tart, because otherwise they get, they get a little bit uh, soggy. Okay. And like and everything you do, it's beautiful in the it end. It is Look beautiful. At that. And the finished tart mm. is right back here. Let's, okay. Oh, my let's goodness. Oh, it looks taste. delicious. Oh, my goodness. All right. If you want more on this recipe or other ones, you can just go right to today.com slash food. Let's get take a little taste here. And oh, these and cool a little bit to slice it. But for a luncheon, mm -hmm. uh, it's so delicious. And it looks fancy. 
It's very fancy and it's very mm -hmm. simple. But, but it's this, easy. This is actually one of my favorite tarts and no cream. Thank Notice you. that we haven't done a, a big rich quiche. This is a, a really delectable tart. This is one of my Beautiful. favorite tarts too, Martha. And, and it, is it? It's really good. Yeah, it is good. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.